channel. I'm Logan Lee Miller. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello. If you're a returning guest, it's so good to see you again. We just got done with our work day and we are headed to a sculpt yoga class, which I had her last week and I absolutely did not want to go to this class. I was trying to, um, you know, talk myself out of it. And guess what? I'm doing the same thing this week. I'm like, Ooh, do I really want to go? There is a power one class um, after the school class. It like starts at 630. So I'd ultimately wait like an hour and a half to go to my workout class, which would be fine. It was closer but I actually live 30 minutes away so that would extend my evening like a little bit longer than I'm wanting plus I still have the pile of laundry from Sunday on um, my bed I keep like putting it in baskets or like right before going to bed and every morning after I make my bed I'm honestly like putting some of the clothes back on the bed in hopes that I actually do it, um, like on my lunch break or whatever. It just not has not got done. <laughs> um, so I really need to like focus on this later this evening. I just don't think that um, pushing back my workout class is going to be the best option. So I am sucking it up. I'm going to sculpt again. I really don't want to, <laughs> but my hopes is that the more I go to these sculpt classes, the more I get better and better, right? Like I have got to improve at some time. So we are just trying to boost our confidence because when I'm sweating and huffing and puffing and I look in the mirror, I'm, you know, a little bit more proud of myself uh, because I, you know, curled my eyelashes and fluffed up my brows, whatever. So I'm gonna put on deodorant and I cannot find my yoga mat. I laid it somewhere, but I, I can't find it. So we're gonna need to find that if we want to leave on time, which is in two minutes. So let's go. It actually kind of warmed up to Today, as in it wasn't negatives so I don't actually know if I want to bring my coat like my hands are already so full with everything um, but you know what I'm happy to see the longer day is starting because normally when I would leave right now it'd be pitch black and it's still light outside so that means the wind isn't it like the winter solstice is over or has started or maybe um is on the downhill slide i don't know whatever it is i'm so happy <laughs> for longer days it just makes me perk up have more energy and i love it that's all <laughs> it is still though very very snowy it does look beautiful look at that little sunset oh, i'm so excited for these longer days really and truly i just got back home from sculpt class and it was easier but also harder than the first class I went to easier as in the sense I knew it was coming like I knew her style at this point like I was like oh I recognize this from what she did last time so that was good I will say like that part was great harder because I think I sweated more <laughs> like I definitely got very very toasty I'm gonna hop in the shower um and honestly like I washed my hair um last night but I'm kind of thinking I might need to wash it again if not absolutely dry shampoo and blow dry it before I go to bed um but yeah the class was really good I kind of got a little overwhelmed at first I was like oh my gosh like we have to do this again and it was good so maybe I'm getting stronger maybe I'm getting better one can hope I needed that shower so bad I feel like my muscles are just like extra extra sore so the hot water was really doing it and I have been putting off laundry all week like I honestly should have done it like on Sunday but I just wasn't feeling it so I have you know of course done the trick where you throw it on the bed um and you have to like fold it before you go to sleep except for the for the past three nights I've just been pushing it back in the baskets and then taking it off the baskets and enough is enough we're gonna get this folded I know it doesn't seem like a lot but it feels like a lot you know it feels heavy it feels like oh gosh like we have so much to do um so we're gonna get this folded all that's left is two rogue socks and our kitchen towels it was a success it did not kill us i always feel like oh my gosh it's so overwhelming you know like to have so much laundry to do we knocked it out we got it done and now we can just 
enjoy the rest of our evening. We got our workout done. I actually did go for a 30 minute walk today um, during work, which I'm really, really proud of. And honestly, today was an accomplishment. I'm just glad that it's finally complete and we can enjoy the rest of our evening. Okay, today we are going to be doing something I've never done before. And that is, that was so awkward, that was weird. Um, today we are going to be getting a chemical peel. I'm so excited, but also a little mad because I ordered some headbands from Amazon last week and they're supposed to be here like last Thursday. It's now like a week later and they haven't came yet because I wanted to like push my hair back and still have it down. Uh, I've never gotten a peel before, but I can imagine like I'm not gonna want my hair to be touching my face. But I have a podcast to record tonight, so I'm like, I, it's like counterintuitive, right? Like my face is going to, I'm sure have product on it or, um, you know, be tender, all the things. I don't know, honestly, I don't know what to expect. I've never gotten one before and I am really really excited but also nervous uh it's called a VI peel uh and I'm going to my local medical spa I don't know because it's so sunny out like I know you're not supposed to have like exposure to the sun so I don't know if I should be wearing like a hat there like um but then I don't want the bacteria like to get on my hat like because that's still touching my forehead but I want you know, coverage from the sun. So I don't know. Would it be weird if I wore like a sun <laughs> to the um to the mud spa? Probably. Okay, so this is what my face looks like before. Um I have been using the sieve product. I do think it's healed um quite a few of my blemishes. Maybe it's a placebo, maybe it's actually working. It's I love it, honestly. Um I am gonna take a pause on it during the week of my peel or like the two week processing time of my peel. Um today I have on my bee oil from ordinary and then my epion's face mask so trying to keep some moisture in there before we do the chemical peel um and i figured like this was the best time because i'd be outside the least amount um and of course the day that i have it it is beautiful bright and sunny but um my appointment is in 15 minutes we're gonna head there now um i should probably bring like a hair tie or a clip or something uh but yeah let's go see how it goes so jen put on the acetone and completely cleansed my skin and then this is the vi peel i have a very very bad spray tan it looks like look at this literally me this entire time have had my curtains to block the sun and i'm kind of worried about like this sunlight coming in and out because I'm not supposed to have any sun exposure. The peel is obviously applied, right? Like you can obviously see um, the application. So in four hours, I will be able to rinse it off. She gave me like a little kit of all the things that I will be using for the next seven days. I did make a little bit of a mistake. I did not realize that it was going to look like a pre-washed spray tan right like i did not realize it was gonna be such a vibrant orange um uh i have a podcast to record later today so that might be a little embarrassing uh that i'm just on there but look she gave me a headband i'm so happy she was like oh we have a headband for you i said like, perfection because i was worried that my package didn't come and i wasn't going to be able to hold my hair back so the peel She's applied. I'm having a bit of lunch. I'm working on my computer. I'm actually working on a business card. I do not have a business card for me personally. Um, and as I meet with like businesses and everything, I, I feel like I should leave them with something. And there's always like a, a sense of professionalism when you have a business card. So let me show you what I'm working on. Okay, so I have my name and a little, you know, blurb. I still need to take off the location part and then the um, date of establishment, 
but I'm really liking the lettering. It's on my to-do list to get these done, get them printed, and um, arrive at my house. So um, I'm gonna be working on this, and in four hours, I get to wash my face. So something to look forward to. Okay, so this is post four hours. Um, it doesn't really feel that tight. Like it, there's not really a difference in my skin. I did have to download this app and it sent me a notification saying it's time for my first cleanse. So this package has all of my post chemical peel instructions. So we're gonna open the pamphlet up, do a little bit of reading. So on day one, we are gonna cleanse the skin using the Gentle Purifying Cleanser. Then we are gonna use the VI Tablet and then the Post Treatment Repair Cream. So this is the cleansing balm and I'm gonna use that first. Okay, it's just like a little clear solution. It's completely cleansed off. Now we're gonna take the towelette and we are going to use gentle pressure and apply this towelette to the areas where the peel is applied. We did the towelette. I'm gonna discard, wash my hands, and we're gonna wait 10 minutes. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, we are going to be putting on the post treatment repair cream Put on. okay i've done all the steps and now all we have to do is one hour before bed repeat it all again um and continue so peeling should be within day five or seven i'm excited to see how this goes not everyone peels so my skin actually might not peel but it's looking just not really looking glowy <laughs> Um, I'm just glad that that orange tint is gone now, so. This is seriously the earliest I have gotten up in months, like literally months. Uh, it is 7.15, I'm waiting for my vehicle to warm up. This morning I have a board meeting um, in town at a coffee shop. I haven't had commercial coffee um, since like November. <laughs> so I'm really excited to go to one of our little coffee shops, grab a coffee. I was so tired this morning because I got up at 6 30 which I know like that is really not that early but I have not been in routine and my body has needed a lot of sleep and I've been staying up super super late and so it killed me this morning I set four alarm clocks and I snoozed every single one of them I was so tired this morning and just out of it I actually did not film my skincare routine uh, I didn't notice any of a difference with the chemical peel last night like honestly like nothing at all I washed my face. I did not have to do another chemical peel pad. I put on the moisturizer, which is really anti-itch cream, and this is the first time that I felt a little itchy like on the side of my face. Um, so I made sure to heavily apply that, and then of course the um, sunscreen. And that's all that is on my face currently, so um, we are gonna head to the coffee shop. I have not had coffee at a coffee shop in so long <laughs> and it was really nice not to have to clean my frother. I was like, oh my gosh, like I didn't have to clean like the puck out. I didn't have to clean my frother and it was so good. I got a honey vanilla latte, hot amazing so good it was actually four shots and i'm used to only two shots so i'm feeling like i'm on one which is great hopefully we get a lot of work done today um and then later this afternoon i am headed up to kansas uh to check out one of the spots i'll be hosting a golden gown network event um i have to put my deposit down i have to check it out take some dimensions for like decorations and kind of see the layout so that i'm able to prep for our galentine's day event which is gonna be February 10th. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna work on my computer a bit and then we are gonna head to Kansas so I can check out the little, you know, event center, the clubhouse. If you're interested in, in the Kansas City or Kansas area, be sure to follow at Golden Gal Network event and subscribe to our newsletter so you know when the event is coming towards you. I'm really excited um, and Honestly, like I love prepping and planning for the events almost as much as I like 
being at the event. Okay, so we just got to the venue. We're gonna go inside, check it out. I am not sure what to expect, honestly. Um, hopefully it's a big open area. Hopefully I have enough room to put tables. There's somewhere for like photo ops and hanging out and honestly just like a good environment for chatting and getting to know um, some new friends. So let's go see it. Okay, this space looks amazing. I am so excited. Um, I really think that we're gonna have ample opportunity for tables, for balloons, for, you know, connection, and I am so excited. So we are gonna head home um, now that we have paid our deposit and we have looked at the space. Now the planning process can start and advertising all the things um, for people to come. For February 10th. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so I'll see you at home. It feels so good to be home. I hit like rush hour traffic coming back and I was like, oh my gosh, like I am so glad that I do not have to drive back and forth from the city for work. And it made me honestly like super, super grateful. I will say it has taken like a week and a half for me to get this Amazon package. And I'm pretty sure it's my headbands that I wanted yesterday. It is. So I picked up these headbands from Amazon um, brand Kent Lawrence. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting like over a week and a half for these. They were supposed to come like last Wednesday and it's currently Friday night. So honestly, like I'm glad that they've made it here, but I really wanted them for my uh, chemical peel procedure yesterday. I'm just excited that they, they're finally here and so glad that the med spa gifted me one of those like temporary or um, the cloth one, disposable, a disposable cloth one. But I got the colors. The colors I got is light brown, dark brown, two, a heather gray, a dark gray, a light gray, and a black. So it, it's like a good color combination. Um, but I really wish I would have had this yesterday. I do want to see if the quality is there or not. So we're going to try on the black one. Okay. It's much thicker, I will say, than like the temporary one that I had yesterday. So we are just going to put this on. And of course, like my hair is kind of wonky. I have not worn a headband like this since high school, but it's like very secure on my head. Maybe it's because I have a big head or something, um, but she feels good. I am always doing skincare though, and I feel like my big headband that has pearls on it just isn't a look for like running around, especially right before bed when I'm doing the entire routine. I'm like putting on all of the serums, all of the creams, and then my bangs will like touch it and then my hair looks greasier. I'm not sure if I want my ears in or out. Like, are you a tuck it? Okay, that looks weird. <laughs> are you a tuck your ears out or in? Comment down below. I would love to hear your take on it. But it's Friday night and if you watched last week's video, you saw that I painted this beautiful martini glass. Um, I did add some detailing like the next day and I love it. I am planning on doing the same exact thing. We are pulling out our little artist table. We're getting our paints out. I don't think I will be painting a martini glass, but I'm gonna be painting something. I'm giving myself the freedom to do whatever I want and not hold so much like perfectionism in the paintings. I'm definitely in my hobby era and trying to stay off my phone. So if I can do something with my hands that's gonna make me happy and also exercise my creative brain, I'm gonna do it. Again, I wanna preface this by saying I'm not an artist. Like I have always been like super, super creative, but I haven't necessarily like, you know, honed in on that skill. This is just for me. It is just for me to practice doing something creative, practice, you know, expanding my brain and finding a hobby that I love, like finding something that makes me happy and fills up my, you know, Friday nights. With that being said though, like I actually have no idea what I want to paint tonight. Um, I do have like two frames that are the exact same size as this acrylic pad, but I have two other ones that are a bit smaller. 
So I don't know if I just like paint the whole thing and then like cut it down. Like if it's more of like a landscape kind of situation. If it's more of like, okay, I paint this, but know that I'm only gonna cut out like this little bit. So maybe I'm just gonna paint the whole thing. We'll see how the night takes us and what we end up creating. I am feeling more of like reds, oranges, and yellows today, um, which is totally different than the green and blue vibe that we did last Sunday. <laughs> So, you know, I was doing like this little stair step and then I put this yellow block here I'm planning on painting the yellow block pink and I knew that the pink wouldn't be as vibrant If it was like painted on top of the orange So I laid down the yellow instead of white, you know, I feel like yellow and pink like it'll look good Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Um, or don't like I don't care. This is honestly Um, it's been a lot of fun to just like I don't know paint blocks of color um, and then I'm thinking I'm gonna put something on top, but we'll let the um, we'll let the painting speak to me and let it reveal itself. Um, but yeah, that is a a little you know halfway <laughs> through the process. Um, we're letting it dry a bit before I lay down the pink. So this is part one. We got the base kind of down. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> it's actually looking ugly on camera. It looks ugly in person too, but I don't care. Another update. I painted it pink. I kind of hate it. I don't know. Essentially, I gave up on painting and I'm going to let it dry until tomorrow. Um, it's about an hour before bed. We're going to sit. We're going to watch some TV. We are, you know, going to relax for the evening, but I need to wash my face and do my last peel pad. <laughs> deflated i will say i've been running around this morning and i haven't yet gotten to take a drink but i'm so proud of myself i'm like mm, look at that foam and this might be gross but i'm gonna get a little closer and show you the peeling that i started this morning and you are not supposed to like peel it off or pick at it or anything you're just supposed to let it kind of like fall off so i'm gonna get in the shower i'm gonna cleanse i'm gonna have it like soften my skin a bit and then hopefully the cleanser will help like break apart some of the dried skin that is starting to slough off i'm so excited um sometimes your face peels with the chemical peel and sometimes it doesn't and i'm so glad that mine is actually starting to peel so we're gonna hop in the shower the hair is extra extra dirty and uh, we're gonna get ready for the day i feel like the water and the heat and the steam from the shower kind of made him like soften off and like be able to scrub off and then immediately when i put the um like cream on the little balm it burned i will say i felt like my skin was like dry and then when i put on the cream i was like oh like kind of inflamed kind of irritated but i did you know let that cool down for a little bit we put the vitamin i'm sorry not vitamin c we put the sunscreen oh my gosh i was thinking like protection from the sun vitamin c vitamin d whatever um and so we put the sunscreen on and we are going to head out garrett and i and a couple of our friends are gonna go um, in the city. I think we need to like stop at a couple stores and probably grab lunch. So I'm all dressed and we're ready to go. I was actually feeling too formal, so I switched into a sweatshirt and this is what we're gonna wear instead. We 
we definitely have a lot of shedding today. It looks a little weird. And now that my face feels like it's actively burning off, we are gathering our stuff to go to a hot yoga class. I really hope that my face doesn't like burn during the class because it is a bar class and it might get a little sweaty, but we're gonna keep positive and hope that it does not. So happy to say I did not completely fry off my face during yoga today. Um, it did feel like a little hot um, and I tried really hard not to like rub my face with my towel. I just like padded for my sweat. I think that my headband definitely helped like to pull like my scalp sweat away from my face so it wasn't like dripping on it. Um, and now we're gonna go to breakfast. It truly fills my cup to go to a hot yoga class and then immediately get breakfast afterwards. Like, I love it. It's so good. But the perfectionist and the, like, go-getter in me is, like, we've wasted half of our Sunday. And I'm trying really, really hard to reprogram this. It is 2.24. And I'm like, okay, we do need to get a couple things done this afternoon. Yesterday was, like, a total, you know fun time but I wouldn't say a bus like no day is ever wasted but I didn't do anything on my to-do list at all whatsoever so today we have like quite a few things going on that we actually need to accomplish and do and achieve so I'm hopping in the shower really quick just to rinse off I swear the like Sunday bar class is always just so like sweaty and like so good but also like so painful at the same time and uh, I really needed it especially because I did not go to a workout class until last Wednesday I went to a workout class. So it's been a couple days and I felt like uh, this is gonna be a great way to just like start my Sunday morning and I love seeing the girls and I love interacting and hanging out. Shower complete and we still have some hot coffee which is always a win. I rewashed my face and it felt even worse than this morning. It's just like extra tender. It's tender, it's not really itchy, but it's tight and dry at the same time. I know a lot of people say that January, February is like peel season because the holidays are over. It's before spring break. It's before being out in the sunshine a lot. So I'm here for it. But I just feel like around my mouth is really, really sore, not sore, tender. Tender is definitely the word. I put on my tended lanolips. lips. I was just like, oh, like I'll just grab this berry one and it burned on around my lips and i was like okay i could not put on the tinted one i can only do the original strawberry i don't know that has not been burning my lips but this was like a little hot i am writing the um podcast episode for this upcoming monday and Usually I talk about like things that happened throughout the week and then, you know, um, some of my aspirations, if I'm struggling with anything. And this week I definitely have like things to talk about, but I was also thinking like in reality, I haven't done all that much this week and I am letting January, like definitely January, <laughs> like I am feeling um, like very restful in the way that I'm tired. Okay, I am exhausted, I am tired, and I'm trying to push through it. I'm trying to be um, on top of my game. I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting everything that I set out to do completed, but I don't wanna force against nature, right? Because even the uh, trees, the grass, everything takes a break during the winter time. They don't have that growth season. Um, and so for me, I'm like, okay, maybe it's not a growth season. Maybe it's just like, we're being very intuitive, very like in our, in ourselves and our feelings. I don't know, in our tired emotions, but I do have like quite a bit um, of editing to do. So I'm going to record my podcast, uh, go listen at the golden hour drip, wherever you find podcasts and, uh, grab my computer because the chiefs are playing tonight. It's chiefs versus I think the bills, maybe personally, I am not a football girly, but I am a social girly. And I think we're going to go over to my dad's house, um, and visit him and my little brother, watch the chiefs game. And that will be the perfect end to my Sunday night.
You know what I have been loving on social media lately? The trend, or not trend, I guess it's the sound that says, Podcast is done and successfully exporting off of my computer. It's always such a relief when it's over. Like, I love doing it. I love podcasting so much. But it's like, okay, I have to sit down. It's going to be an hour, an hour of time. Like, it doesn't seem like that long. But I talk nonstop. And I have to talk by myself. Kind of like I'm doing right now. But it's finally done. Exporting this. And then we're going to go over and watch the game. Thank you. 